titreat natin siya as uh, a variable. So, or pabago-bago, or uh, unknown. Which, in reality, ganun naman po talaga yung sitwasyon. Okay? So, first of all, hope, hope, hope you can see my screen. Okay, I'll take this as a, as a yes. Where is it? Okay. Okay, so I am po. Okay, so we'll be talking about probabilistic models and safety stocks. So again, if we are using this, if the demand is not constant or certain, which happens most of the time, and we're using safety stocks, safety stocks level, it's like an allowance ng sineset natin para hindi umabot sa point na magzi-zero out yung ating stocks or magkaharon tayo ng stock out. So ito po, um, having a safety stock is also part of the inventory policies ng isang kumpanya. Halimbawa, sa side namin, uh, dun sa guidebook namin, if an item is an e-item, we should carry about two weeks of safety stocks. So what does it mean? It means na dapat may plano kami whereas ini-insure namin na merong kami palaging two weeks safety stocks. Para saan po yung safety stocks? Ang safety stocks po ay ginagamit para ma-insure natin na namimit pa rin natin yung demand even if nag exist yung fluctuations. So imagine, if there's a sudden increase of demand, diba, and then you're, you don't have any sort of uh, safety stocks, para magugulat ka na lang, and then possibly yung stocks mo ay ma-purge out or madideplete because of that uh, spike on demand. And then walang matitira for the other customers. So ang safety stocks ay parang reserve stocks. Pero sa amin sa system, ginagamit namin siya as a soft demand. Soft demand whereas um, magda-drive siya ng requirement sa amin kung ano ba yung mga pangangailangan or para magkaroon kami ng additional na plano to support that uh, safety stocks. Halimbawa, this item. So this item it doesn't, is a C item and part of our policy is we don't carry any safety stocks for uh, C item part. Okay. Ngayon, syempre, um, just just for you to know ano yung safety stocks dito and by its definition. So safety stocks here refers to the quantity whose purpose is to satisfy any kind of unexpected high demand in a coverage period. Okay? And then uh, the risk of shortfalls or yung as defined in the previous slide that uh, safety stocks is being used to avoid stock out or any kinds of any sort any risk of shortfalls. Okay? So ayan po. So kami nagseset kami ng safety stocks. So pakita ko lang sa inyo anong implication pag nagseset ng safety stocks. Sabi ko nga it drives requirements. Okay? Si system tumutulong siya para mag-trigger sa iyo na okay, boom uh, magkaroon ka ng replenishment dito kasi ang safety stocks ay kulang pa or hindi pa natin nabubuo yung safety stocks. So for this case, it doesn't have any stocks but pag nilagyan natin siya ng safety stocks dito, so lagyan ko lang po siya ng halimbawa 12,000 na safety stocks and then ni-refresh ko yung system so makikita dito yung konsepto ng safety stocks. So kung mapapansin nyo, it's a negative indicating na parang uh, magkakaroon dapat ako ng replenishment. Kumbaga, magdadrive siya ng pangangailangan na okay, uh, you need to fill up this 12,000. Okay? So, sabi ko nga, si system, tutulong siya sa'yo if you're able to set up your numbers correctly. So, kung mapapansin nyo dito, may requisition, it's a positive number, it's getting parts from a source plant. So, merong uh, 12,000 dito na magre-replenish ng pangangailangan for that 12,000 safety stocks. So, yan po yung purpose ng safety stocks. One is to avoid any kinds of shortfalls, any kinds of stock outs. But then again, it's up to you guys. It's up to you as a planner kung magseset ka ba niyan or hindi. Again, kuminsan, disturbing kasi yung value nitong safety stocks eh. 
na sobrang laki niya and then hindi and then ang tendency mo is to build more than what is needed. So yung ibang planner hindi hindi sila nagse-set ng safety stocks. Okay, again just to set another example, this item is an AI item and part of our inventory inventory policy is to set two weeks worth of safety stocks. So kung mapapansin natin yung weekly requirements is about 120,000 per week. Meaning for a two, for carrying two weeks worth of safety stocks, that's about 240,000. So kung lalagyan ko ito ng 240,000, magdadrive siya ng additional requirements dito. Let's have an example. Okay, sorry. I won't be using this one. But rather, kasi matitrace yung pangalan ko. But rather using another trial data. Okay. So, kung mapapansin nyo nga po, o, oh, dan lang. Ayan, wala tayong safety stocks and then ito, halimbawa, yan yung ating consumption. So, 78,000 or let's say 80,000 per week. So, if I have to carry, this is an AI item, two weeks worth of safety stocks. Tingnan natin yung mga yari. So, ganito po ang itsura niya ngayon. Ayan po ha. And then, Pag nag-add ako dito ng safety stocks, let's say, it's a two weeks worth, ibig sabihin, 80,000 yung aking consumption per week. So, two weeks worth of safety, safety stocks, that's 160,000. And then, if I am able to refresh it, kung mapapansin nyo, meron ditong mga um, mabab, ayun, nagkakaroon dito na negative, nag-drive siya ng additional requirements. Meaning, yung iyon dapat replenishment ay madadagdagan or yung mga plan orders mo ay dapat mabago. Okay? So, ayan po yung ating safety stocks concept. Now, uh, formula-wise, ito po siya. So, ang purpose ng safety stocks again is to avoid any kinds of stocks, stock outs or magkaroon ka ng konting reserve. So, annual stock out cost can also be calculated as a sum of the unit share times probability times the probability times the stock out cost per unit times the number of orders per year. For example, um, initially, you have set an ROP of 50 units. Ibig sabihin, magkakaroon ka ng replenishment once na umabot sa 50 units yung iyong stocks. Okay? And then you're ordering like six week, six times in a year. Anong na beses ka lang nagpe-place ng order in a year and stock out cost uh, will... Uh, so, pag daw nagkulang ka ng stocks, meron tayong tinatawag na lost sales. And then yung lost sales na yun, that will cost you $40 per frame. And then holding costs or carrying costs will uh, cost you $5 per frame per year. Okay? Now, given that we have received this... Uh, multiples of orders, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 units in a certain period or in annual period, ito daw po yung ating mga nare-receive na orders. And then it has a probability na ganyan. Ano daw po yung ating iseset na safety stocks? So kung mapapansin nyo dito, this is very simple lamang naman po. We'll start with this portion. So if you're not setting any safety stocks, meaning ang ROP nyo, again, ROP is equal to DL plus SS, and initially, ang ating DL ay 50 units. Okay. So, let's start dito sa pinakababang row. So, ang ROP natin dito will stay at 50. Ngayon, if it stays at 50, you don't need to carry additional safety stocks. Kaya po siya zero. Malinaw, wala kang idadagdag na reserve stocks. Kasi nga po, as is, 50 pa rin po yung ROP natin. Ngayon, there's a chance na magkaroon ka ng stock out cost. Bakit? Paano po, sir, pag ang pumasok uh, na order natin ay 60 or 70 units, di ba? Eh, ang nakaset mo lang ay 50 yung ROP. Kukulangin ka. Kukulangin ka ng 10, kukulangin ka ng 20, and we, we have a probability here na indicating na possible po na may ma-receive kong order sa 60 pieces, 70 pieces. Now, to to quantify that stock out cost. Ganito lang po yan. Let's say ito yung sa 60 pieces and then ito yung sa 70 pieces. Okay. Now, saan galing yung 10 doon? Yung 10 na yun, yun po yung stock out. Yun yung kukulangin ka. If you receive 60, or 60 pieces order and you're just setting a 50, 50 ROP, so meaning possible magkulang ka ng 10. 
So, paano yung nakuha? 60 minus 10. Then, imumultiply natin sa probability na makukuha natin ay 60 pieces. Going back here. Anong probability? 0.2. Okay? And then, magkano yung stock out cost? $40 per frame. And how many times you order per year? So, 6 times. And then, Siyempre, hindi lang naman 60 pieces yung expected demand natin. Pwede rin po siyang 70 pieces. And then that, seven, that 20 pieces is the stock out. Okay? So this one comes from 70 less. Sorry, this is 50. That's the ROP. Okay? Then times the probability na 70 pieces, ito po yung probability times the 6 times nagpe-place ng order per year times the stock out cost. Okay, and possibly ito mga po, 960, you just need to add the stock out and the holding cost that results to this. Now, for the second option natin, we, we could set an ROP of 60, meaning magkakaroon ka ng additional na SS na 10 pieces. Okay, so kung nag-carry ka ng 10 pieces additional on top of your normal inventory, so dadagdag yung iyong carrying cost or inventory cost. Okay. And then, with regards naman sa stock, sa stock out, so kung 60 yung ma-receive mo yung order and you have an ROP of 60, okay pa tayo. But if you receive 70 pieces order, may problema na tayo dun. So once again, this is for the 70 pieces order. So this 10 here comes from the 70 less 60. Multiply dun sa probability uli na makaka-receive ka ng 70 pieces na order and then $40 times 6 times ka nag order per year. And then pag a lang natin, magka-come up tayo sa 290. Okay? Next. What if naman po, uh, gawin natin siyang 70? Kung 70 yung ating ROP, meaning magdadagdag ka ng 20 pieces na safety stocks. And that cost you $100. Ngayon, given na, 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 na ginamit mo yung 70 pieces na ROP, and then yung maximum possible orders na ma-receive mo ay 70 pieces. So wala kang chance na mag na mag -e exist yung stock out. Okay? Malino po dun. Okay? And then meaning yung total cost natin is just $100. Then you can compare which of the three alternatives are the best. Or actually, pwede pa tayo magdagdag dito. Eh. Pwede 65 pieces. Pag 65 pieces yung ating ROP, ang ating safety stocks would be just uh, 15 pieces. Tama? Additional holding cost, 15 times 5. And then, stock out cost, what if maka-receive ako ng 60 pieces na order? Supported. What if 70 pieces na order yung ma-receive ko? Anong resulta pag 70 pieces? So 70 minus 65, you have 5. Multiply by the probability niya. Multiply by the stock out cost. Multiply by 6. Then that will result to a value. Pwede rin po, 68 pieces. Maraming options po dito. So ito, uh, nirounding value lang nila in terms of tens by tens na lamang po. Kaya po ganyan yung naging resulta. However, eh, but of course, ayan, ito po yung kanyang optimal solution, which is mag-set ka ng ROP na 70, meaning magkikerry ka ng stock sa 20 pieces. Safety stock sa 20 pieces. Questions? Questions? Wala pa naman. Wala, naman. Wala naman po. Okay, so this one is ensured na kasama to sa CIE. Laging kasama. So ito nga po yung sinasabi kong safety stocks. It's like a reserve stocks. Okay? So ayan. Next, with regards sa probabilistic demand naman po tayo. Punta na tayo doon. So dito po, may sineset tayong customer level of expectations or, or customer fulfillment rate natin or yung tinatawag nating service levels. Ang customer, ang ating fulfillment rate with sa customers natin, eh hindi naman necessary ni na kailangan 100%. Ibig sabihin ng 100%, uh, whatever they they want, they'll get. Complete on time. Hindi po ganun yung ating sineset sa industry. Customer can wait. Okay? Siyempre, may mga C items siya na walang stocks palagi. So there, that's the reason why we are not setting a uh, service level na napakataas, like 100%. Sometimes, sineset lang natin to 97, 95%. Kami sa industry, it's just 95%. Yung iba, 90% is good enough. Okay? So, dito po, um, ayan, ang stock out, I cannot be determined. 
or ang stock outs natin ay possible na mangyari. Okay? So in here po, we're calculating ROP as equal sa demand during the, the, the lead time or simply that's the DL plus ito naman po yung computation for the safety stocks. For the safety stocks, it's just the Z value or the Z score, the number of standard deviations from the mean multiplied by the standard deviation of demand during the lead time. So let's have a sample. So ito daw po yung example natin. We have a demand of 350 units. Demand during the lead time of 350 units. And then uh, there's a 95% chance na walang stock out, meaning there's a 5% chance na magkaharoon tayo ng stock out. Okay? And then you are setting a certain level of safety stocks here. And then that will vary depending on the number of standard deviations that you have. Okay. And then with regards to the ROP, with regards to the ROP naman po, ayun daw po yung ating question. Ito yung mean natin, ito yung general na average, and then yung ating safety stocks ay ito. Okay, so yung ating ROP is equal to the mean multiplied plus the safety stocks. Okay, so let's say for example, a certain demand po may nakuha tayo an average ng 350 uh, kits uh, during the lead time or average demand during the lead time of 350 kits and the standard deviation of the demand during the lead time is 10 kits and then you're setting a Z-score as a stock out policy at 5%, service level at 95%, meaning 95% of the customer orders will be fulfilled complete and on time. So tiningnan natin dun sa P-distribution, you just need to, to type in P of 1.65 that would result sa 95% or 0 0.95. And then we could then determine their order point, which is expected demand during the lead time. That's the 350 units na ito. Okay, plus the 1.65 times 10, which is the safety stocks. So our order point turned out to be 367. So if we go back dito sa ating chart na ito. So 350 ay hanggang dyan. And then you're setting a about 16.5 target safety stocks that mean three that means 367 sorry hindi hindi pala 367 parang mali to 16.5 350 350 ayan tama plus 366.5 or approximately 367 units yung ating equivalent ROP Questions? Questions? Wala po. Ay, okay, hold on lang po. Wala pa po. Okay. So, yun po yung ating basic ng probabilistic demand. Ngayon, may mga cases of course na yung ating data on the demand during the lead time is not available or, or and there are other models which are available. Which are available. 
So may mga cases tayo na yung demand natin sa variable data. Ibig sabihin pa bago-bago, which is most of the time, totoo. And the lead time is constant. So lead time again is the time between placing and receiving the order. Okay, constant naman po yan. Ibig sabihin consistently yung ating delivery time. And then the lead time may also be a variable. Pabago-bago naman yung delivery time. And even if we're demanding or the, we have, we're receiving a demand that is constant. Or pwede rin naman po na both ay variable. So I'll just simplify this. Okay? And do as, I think, uh, an example. Okay. So again, pwede kayo mag-refer sa book for a better example. Maybe gawin na lang natin in the realistic way. So, let's say, you have received customer orders na ito. Customer orders, or ito po yung nare-receive nating demand. 175, 180, 120. Ayan. Ito po yung mga nare-receive nating demand for a certain customer. Okay? Ngayon po, syempre, this is a variable. Tama? Alam natin na demand is a variable for this case. Agree kayo? Demand is a variable. And then, ang ating lead time na nakaset is fix yung ating lead time at let's say, sabihin at sorry, orders per week. Sabihin natin yung ating lead time is 2 weeks. Okay? So, ayan. May 2 weeks tayong lead time. So, paano daw po yung ating magiging case dito. So this one is an example of a case where as the demand is a variable and the lead time is constant. So for this case, we'll be using a formula na kagaya po nito. Okay? So ROP Sorry. Ayan. ROP is equal to Average daily demand. Ito, average daily demand plus the lead time. So, ito daw po yung ating gagamiting formula para diyan in determining yung ating ROP. Okay? So, ito po. Standard deviation during the lead time or yung SS portion na yun with Z ay standard deviation of demand is square of lead time. Ngayon, let's say po um, service level natin is at 90%. So, ano ba yung kanina natin? Example, para... Ayan, 1.28. Okay. So, meaning, ang Z natin dito is equal to 1.98. Sana malinaw po yun. Okay? So, ito po. Nakita naman po natin to Pag pinindot nyo po yung PDI-STR... Okay. Hindi ko sure ha kung meron dito. Ayan, hindi lang ako maalam gumamit nito pero nandito po yan. Ayan, okay. So basta 1.98 po yung ating, sorry, one, it's 1.28. Sorry. 1.28 po yung ating Z. Ngayon, paano daw po natin malalaman yung iseset nating reorder point? So reorder point natin dito is equal to ROP here is equal sa, ilagay muna natin yung average, dito sa baba, average demand, daily demand, demand during LT, during lead time. Okay, so average demand during the lead time muna tayo. So that is equal sa, Uh, average daily demand during the lead time. So, ito po yung ad kanyang weekly demand. Ayan. Multiply. Sorry. Tumabig ako muna dyan. Dito ako muna. Lead time is constant. So, yeah, average ko muna to para kita natin. So, that's the average 
average daily demand multiply by weekly demand multiply by the weeks. So meron tayo makukuha na average demand during the lead time and then for their our portion of safety stocks which is say say uh, ito po say sigma DLT. So equal po siya sa 1.28 multiply natin sa standard Okay. Average, then standard division natin muna. STD, population po yung ating gagamitin. I think that is yung mas tamang gamitin. Kasi nga po, we're not just talking of samples here, but real data. So, for our safety stocks nga po ulit, is equal sa standard division of the demand. Ito po. Multiply by the square root of the lead time. Okay. So, ayan po yung ating safety stocks. And then, we can compute here now the ROP. So, ibig sabihin, magpe-place ka na ng order once na may ang stock level mo ay 261 pieces na lamang. Okay po. Ngayon, sir, saan ba nakikita yung ROP na yun? Dito po actually ay may option po kayo na mag-set ng reorder point. Ito po. Sa amin hindi ganun kagamit yung reorder point. Uh, pero siguro sa ibang kumpanya ginagamit din po siya. So a reorder point daw po if, is that if the stock falls below the reorder point quantity, the system will flag the material for requirements planning. Ibig sabihin magti-trigger siya ng Planned orders or nagtitrigger siya ng production orders, magtitrigger siya ng production plan, replenishment plan by creating a planning file entry. Okay? Or a positive requirement. Okay. So, yan po yung ibig sabihin ng ROP natin. Question po for the first case. Whereas the demand is a variable and lead time is constant. Question po. Okay. Seems wala po. po. Okay. So, yun nga po. Malalaman po natin sa CIE, malalaman nyo naman po kung ito po ay gagamitin ng formula na to pag po naka-indicate na yung sentence na demand is normally distributed. Pag sinabi pong kaagad na normally distributed, meaning var may variable na po doon. Variable data na po yung ating demand. Yun lang naman po yun agad. Ano? Okay. Next natin po is when lead time is a variable and the demand is constant. So, ito naman po yung case na pabago-bago yung ating lead time possibly because of some other constraints na nangyayari during shipment while our demand is constant. So, let's say, for example, ang ating daily demand is, sabihin natin 200 units. Okay? And our lead time is pabago-bago po is normally distributed. Normally distributed daw po yung data natin for the lead time. Sabihin natin ito po siya 5, 6, 7. Yan po. Historical data po ito. Sabihin natin na for a certain week, ito po yung naging resulta ng kanyang lead time. Okay? So meaning, pag in-average natin to, makukuha natin yung average lead time and then standard deviation of your lead time is equal to standard deviation for the sample. I-highlight ko lang po ulit ito. Ito po yung ating standard deviation of the lead time. Again, this could be in terms of days kasi nga po we're talking of daily demand. Now, same case na muna yung gamitin natin. Service level is at ayan po ang service level natin. 1.28 pa rin po. Now we are trying to solve ano daw po uli yung ating okay, ROP. ROP. So ROP natin is equal to the daily demand. Daily demand during LT. So Daily demand during the lead time is just simply the daily demand 
yung 200 units multiplied by the average lead time na ito. Okay. Next, yung portion ng ating safety stocks. SS po, Z. So, that's 1.28. At, at again, at 90% service level multiplied by the daily demand. Daily demand na 200 multiplied by the standard deviation of the lead time, which is ito po. So, yan po yung ating iseset na safety stocks. Therefore, ang ating reorder point or ROP is the summation nilang dalawa. So, meaning, magpe-place ka ng order pag ang, pag ang stocks na natin ay nasa 1,496 pieces. Questions? Questions? Wala po. Wala po. Okay. Next naman po is when our demand, both demand and uh, lead time ay variable. Pag anong case naman po, ito po yung ating gagamitin. Okay, tamaas ka. Okay. Yan po. Both demand and lead time are variable, so we'll be using this formula naman po. ROP, average demand, almost same case din naman sila. Yun nga lang, dito lagi nagbabago sa portion ng safety stocks. So, let's combine the two example. First, ilagay ko muna yung ating service level agreement. And then, lead time is normally distributed. Demand, or sabihin natin, daily demand is also normally distributed. And then, ito yung data na lang natin. Gamitin na natin ulit itong data na to ha. And then, ito po yung customer orders. Okay, ah, alam ko na. May mas magandang way. So, ayan. Week 1, first week, nakareceive tayo ng lead time na 5 days with customer orders. Ayan, per day. Sabihin natin ganyan. Uh, Kakapi ko lang to Then, dagdagan ko na lang. 90, 100. Ayan po. Ayan. So, ayan po yung mga customer orders natin. A lead time in terms of days. So, average po. Average and standard division. Okay. Now, to calculate the ROP po, average daily demand. So, ROP is average uh, demand during lead time. So, that's equivalent sa average multiplied by the average. Okay? And then, for the safety stocks, we can calculate it using this formula po. Ayan, formula po niyan. And then, syempre, yung Z natin. So, ang Z natin, 1.28 multiplied by the square root of, lagyan ko lang maraming parenthesis, average demand, average lead time. So, ito po ang average lead time. Imumultiply daw po natin sa standard deviation of the demand squared. Ito ang standard deviation, then is squared natin. Okay, so ayan po yung first portion natin. Hanggang kulay pula. Hanggang kulay, sorry, hanggang color purple. Plus, higyan ko ulit ng parenthesis. Sa pa ulit parenthesis. Average daily demand. Average daily demand daw po ay squared natin. Squared natin. And then, imumultiply daw po natin siya kay average, kay standard deviation. Then, naka squared. So, ito po yung ating calculated na safety stocks and therefore, ang ating ROP po ay should be at 8, 804 pieces. Questions? Questions po, Wala po about those probabilistic models? Wala po. Okay. So, yun po yung ating probabilistic models. Okay, and then for for the last part po, which is a fixed period po, in here po, uh, we're 
fixed period. Ibig sabihin, yung replenishment po ay, for example, naka-fix siya every Wednesday, first Wednesday of the month or every 15th of the month. So, ganun naman po yung fix period na ibig sabihin. So, yung ating order quantity naman po ay nagva-vary depende sa kung ano yung target mo. Halimbawa po nito ay, ito po, just to illustrate it, ayan, Halimbawa ang ito, ang P dito stands for the period, halimbawa 6 30 days. Ito another 30 days ka ulit bago mag-place ng order. Ito another 30 days ka ulit bago mag-place ng order. In reality, napakahirap po nito. Nitong peak period kasi nga po, parang yung supplier mo ay kailangan flexible din po. Alam naman natin yung demand is uncertain, 'di ba, kada buwan. Ayun. So, ito halimbawa, umorder ka ng ganito kadami yung Q1. Quantity. First quantity na order mo. Okay, nasuportahan nila. And then for the second, after 30 days, nag-order ka ulit. Kukonti. Okay, so nasuportahan uli ng ating supplier. And then after 30 days po ulit, nag-order ka ng sobrang dami naman. Kasi nga po, nadideplete yung ating inventory. Okay? Nadideplete yung ating inventory. So parang sa portion na to, kung ako yung supplier, parang magugulat na lang ako, bakit mo biglang kailangan, nangangailangan ng ganyang kalaki? Okay? So, kaya po napakahirap po ng konsepto ng peak period sa perspective po ng mga suppliers ninyo. Okay? Questions? Questions po regarding peak period? Questions? So, in reality, ginagawa din naman po ito Actually, ako dati, pag nagpe-place ako ng mga purchase orders, weekly, weekly yung aking nagiging every Thursday. Tapos yung delivery time ay once a month lamang din. So, dadating yung, yung stocks once a month. So, ang advantage naman nun is nakatipid ka sa logistics cost or yung shipment cost mo nakakatipid. So, rather than shipping it more in a more frequent basis, gagawin na lamang natin siya in like a monthly or in a less frequent one. Yun nga lang, yun nga, nakatipid ka sa distribution cost or sa logistics cost, pero yung inventory cost naman po and then yung risk of shortage naman po ay medyo mataas. So, yun. Yan po yung fixed period concept, fixed period systems po natin. So, questions? 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 